This is the 18th Leak Creek Challenge and it is called For Sum. Given an array of nums of n integers, return an array of all the unique quadruplets, nums a, b, c, d, such that 0 is less than or equal to a, b, c, d and is less than n. a, b, c, d and d are distinct and a plus b plus c plus d must equal the target. May return the answer in any order. So if nums 1, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 2, and you have a target of 0, you can do negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, negative 2, 0, 0, 2, and negative 1, 0, 0, 1. With the nums 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and a target of 8, you return 4 twos. So the length the length of nums is a minimum of, minimum of 1, and maximum of 200. I might be whatever this number is, negative that number up to positive that number, and the target, same thing. All right, I'll go set up the project. Okay, so set up. So what I've done is I grabbed my solution for three sum and I've modified it for four sum. So I'll just quickly go through it, what the three sum one does, and then we'll make a start at modifying it for four sum. So you get the nums in, you sort all the numbers in that array, you iterate over uh, each number in the array up to the third last number in the array to prevent any duplicate entries into the output. If the number you're currently working on is the exact same as the previous one, then you just continue as you'd get the same result. Uh, you get the index for the second for the second lowest number, and then you get the index for the highest number. You then iterate through, or while you continue iterating until low and higher are no longer equal. What you first do is sum them together, check to see what the value is. In the case of three sum, if it equaled zero, then that was an expected output. If sum is less than the expected output, then you increment the low index so you can get a higher summing. Otherwise, if the sum is greater than the expected target, then you reduce the high to reduce. So we'll make a start on changing this for, for sum. So first thing here, we are going to do negative three there as we are going to be using four numbers. We're going to be keeping this and we are going to be adding another index here. So we'll just do int upper equals this one will be nums dot length minus one then upper will be upper minus one so we're going to continue with low is less than higher like this so in sum nums and we will do plus upper so if sum equals zero we create a new list and we need to now add the nums upper into there books is false we're iterating through the list of outputs and we need to I'm just going to do new lines for this to make it easy to read. We now need to check for the fourth number in the list. So if any equals, it exists. And because it must be unique, we break from there. If it doesn't exist, we add it to the output. And what is this? So while low is less than high, and nums low equals... Okay, yep. So we'll keep this as it is. Low, high, negative one. Something we will also need to do is change how upper works because currently it's not going to be changing at all but we want it to change but we don't want it to be changing at the exact same time that i changes maybe we just do another for loop in here we'll just name this one upper so this one will be nums dot length minus one and we'll do just like that oh no wait this one should be three all right upper it's greater or equal to three, then upper minus minus. Need to put everything else inside of this loop now. And while we're at it, we'll just rename lower to uh, I to lower. So we'll move this one back to here. It will add the same check for upper. This will be plus one. Uh, Upper is less than I'm saying minus one and upper here. Okay, so iterate through each of the lowers. So this will be start off as zero and will go up each time. Okay, this should be greater or equal to I plus three. Oh, lower plus three I mean. Okay, so we've got lower, upper, low is lower plus one high is upper minus one in this loop we are adding to low taking away from high we're summing up 
all the numbers together. Okay, so we need to change, so if sum equals target, and we need to change the two if statements as well. So sum is less than target. I think that might be all that we have to do. Remove this input. And, okay. You know what, I'm gonna run this and hopefully it works. Okay, so had to do a little playing around of the output here to get it to work, but as you can see, expected output, negative two, negative one, one, two, negative three, zero, zero, two, negative one, zero, zero, one. Actual output, negative two, negative one, one, two, negative two, zero, zero, two, and negative one, zero, zero, one. Although here, in the second one, we can see that there was no output, apparently. So let's try debugging the second one to see what's happened. So we will put a breakpoint here. We will look at, so nums, this is the first one. We want to go to the next time it runs. Nums, I may have put the wrong input in, looking at that. I th must have. Because that should be this. Okay, now let's run and hopefully it's going to do what's expected. There we go, 222 two, two, and 222. Two, two, two. Alright, so let's copy this code and we will put into leak code. And hopefully it all works as expected. So we'll just run it on the test ones just to make sure. Yep, both of those work. Now let's submit. Okay, we've got a wrong answer here. So what number is this? 100,000. Hmm. So I'm assuming this was the. It's like overflowing or something. Okay, we'll need to add a check here. Change how sum works. What we can do. So we need to do a test to see if adding numbers together exceeds like in32 limit. I'm not too sure how to do that. Okay, well this looks like a way. So we'll do. We'll do var num array equals can't actually remember how to initialize an array but I think it's this ah, it's that right, new new int array like that so we've got the num array here we then do array.sum Actually, I might. Is that a link way of doing it? We got some. Actually, we don't need to do this at all. I mean, we already have all the numbers there that we're using. So, just remove this. And we will just manually convert it to long. I think that's all that needs to be done. We can probably just manually add that into here. And hopefully it works. Although, we'll probably have to convert this to a long as well. Actually, I'm just going to leave it without, just in case. Okay, that worked, so hopefully that's all that needs to be done. Now we'll submit. Yep, so that's all that needed to be done for this challenge. They added a little test in there to see if you're checking for any summing where it exceeds in 32 limit. So that was the 18th Leak Code Challenge called For Sum. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.